Hello and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm sharing with you a 4x6 mini canvas that I created a while back, uh, but I was waiting on the right color palette and I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But this month over at Words and Pantry they have a stunning little pink um, color combo and it's just perfect for this canvas. So I went ahead and added a bunch of pinks on here and threw on some chipboard and it all just came together. So here you can see that I'm showing you the collage that I had put together but I wasn't sure where I was going to go. It has bits of creative embellishments, chipboards, Prima, IOD molds with clay, lots of art stones, and some texture paste. But like I said, I wasn't sure what colors I was going to use. And in the meantime, my webcam saw its last day and I got a new camera. And as you can tell, my camera is upside down. And that is why all the words on my Lindsay sprays are upside down. So please be patient with me and excuse this first video as I was getting my feet wet with this camera. But I'm, as you can see, I'm adding my mixes of colors. And the Lindsay sprays that I used for this were Plumeria Pink, Sweet Violet Purple, Alpine Ice Rose, and Popping Pink. Lots of pretty pinks, slight purple tones, perfect for Valentine's Day. And as you can see, I've sprayed them on and now I'm adding them again with a water color brush and then I'm spraying them again and then I'm dabbing them off again and then I'm adding water again. And I just, I'm not really getting exactly what I want. So you can see I just keep repeating the process and I'm just playing with the color until I'm happy with it. more water. See this canvas, I really just haven't been sure with it the whole time. More pop in pink. On the sides, can't forget about the sides of the canvas. More water to dab off some of the extra color that I didn't want to be there. And now I'm just not really happy with how muted it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in some uh, rose pink, I believe it is, from Finnabar. And this is a metallic paint. And I'm going to add some paint and spray some water on it, let it move around a little bit. I'm painting the bottom of the chipboard because I don't want anybody to see that. And just continuing to spray the paint with water and move it around a little bit here and there. Now I am working with Finnabar's Wild Fuchsia and this one matches oddly enough with the popping pink really well. So it's the perfect kind of match with these colors. So I'm just again just applying the paint pretty liberally spraying with water. Now I've decided I think it's too dark. So I want to add some heavy white gesso to try and tone it down a little bit. So that's what you can see I'm doing here. Like I said, I've really had no idea what I was going to do with this canvas for the longest time. And after I started working on it, I really had no idea again. But it's all a process, right? And now I'm back to adding, I think this is the violet and I'm using the dabber because I'm trying to get all those little tiny details to show and I know that if I do this it'll seep in and it'll give me more depth and dimension and so now I'm doing this again with Alpine Ice to see if it'll work the same way and I'm starting to like it I'm starting to get where this is gonna go so I just keep going Now I'm going to splatter because I don't think that I can do anything without splattering. I, I, it's almost a compulsion at this point in time. But it's my thing. And now I'm going to go back in and splatter the wild fuchsia paint. And then I'm sure that I'll go back in with the rose paint. Yeah, there it is. 
and the sides of the canvas because you don't want to have them be bare because why would you do that? Now this one here is an opal magic paint and it's the aqua rose and I just wanted a very subtle soft pink so I'm adding those tiny splatters in and now I'm going to paint that heart because I want it to be solid. I'll paint that several times. You'll see. Here you can see that I'm going to start adding in some gel medium and I'm going to do this so I can adhere some glitter. Um, I add a little bit of Fitabar's fine pink and purple. First I add the pink I think. Yeah, see the pink. Now I'm adding more gel medium and this is so I can add some Blue Fern Studios seedlings. And they're just little tiny micro beads. As you can tell, they're a really fine um, pale pink and they are very iridescent, but they're very shiny. They're perfect for this canvas. So I'm gonna to continue to add them. And you'll see me just adding the medium and then sprinkling the seedlings in with my spoon. Then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add a little bit more gel medium for my glitter. And I just really wanted to add a little bling to this canvas, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm shaking it off in the garbage. And there you can see my shine and sparkle. Now I'm adding in some sequins, and these are from 28 Lilac Lane. Um, this is a new company for me, and I really am in love with it. Uh, the pack of sequins came with little snowflakes and hearts and just tiny little snowflakes and they were iridescent and I really do think that I have a new love for this company and these little tiny sequins. I used to use a ton of sequins and for whatever reason I stopped doing it but I think that you're gonna see a lot of sequins from me in the future. It just gives it a little something something and I gotta say I really liked the way that these worked on this canvas. But here you can see I'm just using the gel medium and some glue to adhere them. Now I'm back to that white acrylic paint and I added a bit of white splatters and I didn't want it to just be white so I went ahead and added some pink spray and did splatters too. Finishing touches, I went ahead and used a gray stays on ink and a tiny script stamp from Finabar. And I'm just adding a little bit of um, random stamping in the background and on the sides of the canvas. Just trying to tie it all together a little bit more. And then like I said, you're gonna see that I repaint that heart because I didn't want the white dots on top of the heart. But don't forget my camera's upside down and that's why my love is backwards. Sorry, my first time with this camera. But here I used a little bit of Finabar paint and a tiny bit of popping pink dye um, from Magical. See? And here's my canvas. I hope that you've enjoyed my process and thank you for being patient with me for the trial run with this camera. I hope it wasn't too painful for you. And feel free to give me a thumbs up or ask any questions and I hope that I can answer them. But again, thank you so much for joining me today, and don't forget to join the fun over at Words and Pantry. Thanks again. Bye-bye.